Hello, this is Vino, and I'm super excited. Buckingham sent us a saddle, a buck tree navigator. We're gonna open it up and tell you guys all about it. Let's get to it. So this is a buck tree navigator saddle. Been anticipating it for a while. Buckingham sent it to us and we were very thankful that he, they sent it to us to review it and show you guys. So with that, let's get to it. So I'm gonna open this baby up and here we go. Nice. Definitely, uh, and the color has nothing to do with anything but I really love the color. <laughs> Black's my, my favorite color. So um, this, they were talking about the, um, the back strap being a little bit more rigid and, and that's true, it, it is. It's a little bit more solid, um, but it still has plenty of padding, but it, it's, it's pretty firm. And what they're saying is they got this airflow technology so you don't sweat as much or get a little bit more airflow on the, the parts where you have this type of a pad, including the leg strap. So down here, <clears throat> the leg straps are built in the same way. What's really cool too is they have these Velcros that you can adjust the leg strap. So you can find um, what, what feels best on your legs and, and maybe stop it from creeping up to like the crotch area. Uh, I really like how thick and sturdy this, um, this back support is also. They also mentioned that, that this saddle is water resistant, which is huge. So if, if you work near the rain, like for me, when I work, um, I get really, really sweaty, so <laughs> it would be good that the, my, my saddle won't soak up some of the sweat that I do. Also, they have the connecting points up front. Well, let me, let me get to the, these connecting points. All these highlighted um, posts are actually things that you can connect to. So for different times of, of climbing or what you're doing, for, you know, if you're doing SRS, you could do the center post. Or some people like me, I like to, if I'm doing an MRS system, I like to connect to two sides. Um, if you're doing like a, a climbing and you have a lanyard, you could use this post right here and it's more like a bench seat. So if you had to hang, that's a nice option. And they have this double rope configuration. So in this, what's really cool about this is that these are interchangeable. So if they wear, you could change them out and then you have two so that that's pretty nice so the ring they have it's it's actually um it's bigger than the buck 5.0 that i that i have it's a little wider so i, I like that because you could probably put a clip in or if you, you know carabiners make it you put two carabiners if you wanted to really um nice this this bridge here is adjustable right here and i hear that you can also adjust it like when you're wearing it. So it looks pretty simple. You just kind of pull, you like lift and then pull. Well, that's pretty nice. Um, they, they're mentioning that you can adjust it when you have it on. Um, I haven't tried it on just yet, but um, I'm anxious to see how it feels. The D-rings for, for your lanyard are still up front, which is nice. So they're not, some saddles have their D-rings far, far back, but I like where these sit. Also, your connecting belt, the one that's going to hold you in, they, they're saying that it's equally as adjustable. And I like, they got this beefy um, tip here and a nice bungee to hold it in. And these, these, um, these buckles are pretty beefy. I mean, they're really thick filling and they, they work really well. Look at that. I really like that. That's, that's a nice point. Also, and the legs, you'll have that same situation here where you connect with the same type of a buckle. Okay, nice. And open it up in the same way. Really, really cool. Um, I'll get to the back section here with some of the um, things that you have. You have where you could put um, a carrot tool back here if you wanted to add it um, like storage places. You've got this boat clip 
which is really nice. Um, they say you can put about a half inch rope in it. Some people like to clip lanyards into it or maybe the rope if they want to keep their tail near them. And you have these little tiny D's. So um, some of these are good for like maybe first aid kit. And um, what they do have is something called a buck top. And I think these ones or these ones are the ones for a buck top. What a buck top is, it's a, um, it's a, um, a chest harness that you can a retrofit to this. It's not a life support, but, but uh, um, just something for uh, tending your line. Also, over here you've got these other D-rings. Same thing for a buck top. And they have just as much storage over here behind your, your carabiner. So if you have those carrot tools, you can put them there. They have these big open um, storage ropes here. These little um, like D's for, you know, if you have like speed line kits, you can hang those kind of things to this. Um, some people carry water bottles and maybe some extra bags. Really nice. A chainsaw could go there and also a carbon copies on this side. So you also have that, that um, option there. Uh, really, really nice. Uh oh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, super excited to, to give this a try. One thing I, I'm not really noticing, and I've seen on, on some of them, they have, uh, usually they have like a, a, a rectangular D. It's not on this one. There's There should be a, a rectangular D where you can mount uh, a Y harness. So there's a Y harness that, that should be life support um, ready, but it doesn't seem like on this one they have it. So anyhow, there you go. The Buck Tree Navigator Saddle. Saddle. What I really want to do next is um, put some weight on it and see how it feels on my body. Here we go. The moment of truth where I'm going to put it on. Let's see. Well, I haven't done any kind of adjustment or anything. We just you know, as we took it out of the box. So hopefully I can get it on pretty simply. Oh, pretty nice. Cool. Now I get the buckle on. So maybe a, I might want to talk, tighten the buckle a little. So slide it just a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, that feels about right. Pretty good. And then the leg strap. Will it reach? Nice. You know, what I wasn't really noticing was right here this this bungee's a lot more beefy and it has like a cover. So pretty nice. And it kinda I can feel it kind of pulling up. Let me try the other leg. Oops. So for now, you know, it feels pretty okay. I, I think I'll have to try it out and then see what my likings are. I don't know. They feel pretty decent where they're at right now. I'm going to throw my bag on. See if I'll find that clip. Right here. All right. And then since we're switching out, which goes where? Right here. Nope, I gotta flip it around. Okay, that's my pulley side. My tail end of my lanyard. And then here goes the side I like the most. All right, so now what I'll do is I'm gonna go up in the tree and I'm gonna put some weight on it and see how it feels on me. Right now, I gotta say it feels equally as light as, as um, say the buck uh, 5.0 really feels nice. So get up to the tree and get prepared to go up. I already got my setup ready to go. I'll use a center tie in point and then I'll get ready to go. Now I'm going to connect it to my saddle. I'm going to use my rope wrench and a Mitchell Con. I'm going to put some weight on it. Speaking of weight, this saddle's rated at 350 pounds. So if you're a big guy or a heavy climber, know that it's up to 350 pounds it's rated for. Nice, nice deal. 
Okay, so with that I'm gonna throw my jet step on and I'll start going up the tree. Let me clip my tie in. There we go. Put some weight on it. Feels pretty nice. I think I might um, maybe later adjust the legs. A little bit maybe. I don't know. Nice. So let me see. Scoot back a little. Yeah. Feeling pretty good though. Yeah, I think maybe I have them too much to the inside. If I move them in a little, I might like it a little bit more. So feel how it feels like this. I'll put a lanyard on and see how that feels. Get in the lanyard. Slip in. Oh yeah. So yeah, so the way this is feeling, it's pretty nice. It's really solid. So I think maybe on the Buck 5.0, I, I might have felt a little bit more tension on the back. But this one's really feeling pretty comfortable. And it's not really like um, like, like feeling really tense on my, my hip area. And even on my, my low, low back. So cool, cool. What I was noticing when I was in the tree is that when I did put my weight on this saddle, when I leaned back, when I had the lanyard on, it really felt more secure and, and a little bit better on my back. And also the leg strap felt really great on the back of my legs, but I think I'll still need to figure out the adjustment part. I really haven't done that. I mean, we took it out of the box and I put it on. Uh, so I really haven't adjusted it to what my liking is, but right off the bat, it feels really great. So um, I gotta say that I've been a buck a Buckingham saddle guy for years and I'm a huge fan so back in about the 90s I bought a they call it now the classic the buck classic that was a great saddle and then later on I moved to this buck 5.0 which is um, if you look at them they're really close to the same um, structure but I'd say this one has better details but what I do like or did like about this is the same thing this saddle the back was all equal all comfortable you could see the difference this is a little bit thicker and and this is really pliable so when you do put um, the lanyard on you could feel a little bit more on your back and even these little straps they're really bendable but on this um, on the navigator they're a lot more sturdy it has all of the same kind of situations but this buck has this um, the slider that you can't change out which I do appreciate on the navigator where it's a double you can change them out so if you really want to have like longer length you could probably do that this ring is huge because it's like a beefier ring if you compare like the two I like this because you could put snaps in it if you want you know a thicker snap so that's that's really a bonus for me um, and I'm working at the uh, the waist clip so this waist clip it's beefy right and I really like this. This is not going to move on you. So one of the things that I didn't like so much on this, um, I would always have to readjust this piece. So, you know, what's really cool is once I adjusted it, when I was in the tree, it wouldn't move on me. But then I take it off when I come back, it would be loose. So I'm thinking that this one's not going to move on me. The way it's set up with this bungee and then the way it, it um, tightens, I don't think it's going to move. Um, going back to the D-rings, these D-rings are a little bit bigger. They are still up front. So on both of these saddles, your D-rings are up toward the front. So they're not, some saddles have them back here. So it's a little bit harder to get to. But what I like about these and both of these models, that they are closer to the front and, and you know, where you want to be. Having all of these um, tie-in points is just huge. Now they do say that they have 14 points of connection. Um, I still got to figure out where all the other connecting points are, but initially are these these uh, four here, the two down here, and then you've got the slider and then the ring. So uh, maybe there's some other points that I just haven't noticed yet. Um, so I, I think in comparison, 
off the bat I do like the way this feels with the stiffness of the the buckles and everything and having everything's almost a carbon copy except for you can change these out it's really nice now earlier I mentioned that it had a um, a rectangular buckle I was watching some of the videos on it because I want to be a little bit more familiar about it um, this one it, it there's no buckle or, or d-ring here but it does show if you look it up that it looks like there's a way to strap um, the chest harness it's a y harness for uh, it's a buck y harness and with the buck y harness what you can do is it's fall arrest so it looks like with the back you put a strap and then connect it to a carabiner up front which makes it fall or protection so if you are a guy or if you're a company who has these saddles um, and you have boom trucks so sometimes when you're doing really tall trees you could hitch a ride up in a tree in a boom truck or you might be working in the boom you can have this with the Y strap you could have fall protection and then you could jump into a tree and it's still it it works for both so you don't have to have let's say a fall protection saddle that's meant just for a boom truck with this what's pretty cool is for maybe a couple hundred bucks more it turns into fall protection so if your crews are the type of crew that has to go from boom to tree and back into boom this would be great not to mention having the like the the um the the harness up here it will hold your belt up and if you're having a chainsaw it will help it's pretty cool um also they have something called a a buck top um they sent me a buck top too so i'm really anxious to see how it works um it's just a um it's not a, a ppe it's more for just a chest harness that you can um connect to the saddle and it holds like suspenders but main thing is just so it'll tend your SRS line, which is really cool. You can also, you know, if it connects to here, but then you can also use it as standalone. So if you had a different belt and you couldn't connect it to this, you could still use it. Um, we're going to be working on that in the future. Um, I got to tell you, I'm so excited about this saddle and my first experience right here. I, I'm, I'm really excited and anxious to spend more time um, maybe adjusting it, tweaking it, and just spending more time playing around in some trees. Once again, I wanted to thank Buckingham for sending us the Buck Tree Navigator Saddle. Um, really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to spending more time in it. I wanted to have a shout out to Ryan from Buckingham. Thank you for helping us get this saddle, working with us on it. Um, I want to tell everybody, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you guys like what we do. And by all means, share our videos. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care.